What's up you guys? Here are my tips on how to be a good roommate. Let's get started. So the first piece of advice I have for you guys is how to find a roommate. If you're the only person from your high school going to your college, it can honestly be really daunting and really stressful to find a roommate. So what I recommend is searching up your school's name and your graduation date. For example, for my year, it was UC Riverside 2026. And you search, I searched that up on Instagram. I searched it up on Snapchat on Facebook even, just to connect with fellow students going to the college. Now on these pages, people have a small description of where they're from, their interests, their hobbies, and a few pictures of them with their friends as well, just them doing whatever. And you gotta get a feel for how they are as a person. So what I did is I just messaged a bunch of people who I thought were really cool and I thought were generally people I'll get along with. And I just asked them if they'd be down to hang out if they were in the area, if they weren't, be down to do something similar. I ended up going through a lot of people, but I decided on a roommate who was actually from the Bay Area me being from SoCal, that was kind of disconnect, so I didn't get to say, like meet up with him in person until our in-person orientation. But we had very similar interests. For example, we were both gym bros, we both really enjoyed certain video games. We had very common interests that helped us a lot when we were trying to get along. So once we decided to be roommates, we started to look at what we wanted to buy for the room. We had the normal stuff like a vacuum, some drawers, just stuff like that to basically just furnish the dorm. So I made sure to have those conversations with my roommate about what we were bringing and more so what they were in particular. My roommate also had an anaphylaxis allergy which basically means they're allergic to eggs so i made sure to not bring anything that was related to eggs or anything that was really related to dairy in some sort making sure to have those conversations about allergies about foods and stuff like that is really really important with your roommate as it establishes boundaries and i'll talk more about boundaries later on in the video one difference that me and my roommate had was that my roommate was more of an night owl and i was more of a morning person so we kind of set a boundary or more so a curfew for like weekday school nights and one piece of advice we want to have when setting boundaries is just to know that the person you're dealing with grew up differently than you did. Obviously, that's a bit of a common sense idea, but more so people don't really understand and begin to reason with the person and realize that they grew up in different environments and circumstances outside of yours. For example, if I was hungry and I wanted a snack that was my roommate's, I would be sure to ask him and get their approval beforehand. Just so if they wanted my snack and they didn't get my approval and they ate it, I would be kind of upset. So just establishing that boundary and having that sort of mutual respect is very, very important and goes a very long way. Another piece of advice I have that is really Really, really important is communication. For example, if you want to have guests over and you have a midterm tomorrow, that's something you should probably talk about. And overall, making sure that you're communicating effectively. You should really get comfortable just communicating with your roommate. Basic things like just when you're going to be sleeping early, you know, wake up really, really early. Or if you plan to have like guests, or always be sure that you're putting their emotions and their feelings whenever you're doing something. Because at the end of the day, this is not just your space, but also your roommate and your space. So treat it as like a 50 deal. One thing I want to talk about is just being cleanly. One person can see their room is clean while the other person can see their room as messy. So there's a point of conflict there. And I think it's important to make some sort of cleaning schedule with your roommate. For example, me and my roommate decided that we were gonna vacuum and mop the room once a week on Sundays. And we agreed to switch off every other week. So every two weeks, I would be doing the mopping and the sweeping. And every two weeks, my roommate would be doing the mopping and the sweeping. Another thing I really wanna talk about is just containing your stuff on your side. Obviously, there's gonna be some sort of scenario where you have to place like your phone on their bed just to tie your shoes. But in the long term, make sure that you're really being accommodating toward their space as well. For example, when I had meetings or any interviews, I would tell my roommate two to three days in advance. I would basically just ask him if he was free at a certain time period, like Thursday at 5 p.m. and tell him that I have a meeting at that time. As long as I kept that same respect for him, it really wasn't a huge concern. Of course, I'd recommend having that conversation prior to reserving the space from your roommate. Of course, there are gonna be things that arise out of the blue. So do your best to communicate that to your roommate. And if you can't, try to contain the situation as much as you can. If you were to take one thing away from this video, is that it's to treat your roommate as you would want to be treated and to reciprocate that in any capacity possible. So those are tips I have for you guys. If you guys haven't already, I'd appreciate any likes, comments, and subscribes. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me in the comments as I'd love to be of any help. But with that, I'm gonna leave you guys to it and have a good day, y'all.